Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can take an assignment that you have for your students, and if it's a file, upload it into OneDrive and then generate a link that you can then share with your students in any of our platforms. If it's Canvas, Teams, Remind, uh, the Skyward Messenger, Class Dojo, doesn't matter. This link will be clickable for your students and will open up the file for them. Okay, so I have created this Word document here I want to share with my students, assignment for students. So to do this, I need to put it in my OneDrive. So uh, I'm gonna do this directly in the web. So I've opened up a web browser here. This is our uh, website and I'm gonna go to the SSO. So I'm gonna click up here and just type in SSO and it's .ems-isd.net. So it's SSO dot and then the back end, back end of our email address. Hit enter to open that up. And then I'm going to click on this Office 365 and I'm going to get logged in. So if you're not already logged into this, then, then you might have to re-sign in to Office 365, just so you know that that's the thing that might come up. That's no big deal. And it's going to be your email address uh, to log into the Office 365. So I'm going to click on OneDrive. <clears throat> Opens it up in a new tab. And you've hit that Office Home is back here on this other tab. So if you need to go to something else, like your email or something, that would be back there. Okay. So now that we are in the OneDrive, let's say that I want to put this file in this particular folder. So I'm going to go ahead and click this folder. If I just want to put it in OneDrive, just to have it in OneDrive, I would just hit upload right here. But I want to put it in this folder, so I'm going to click the folder. And then I'm going to hit upload. And then I'm just going to upload one file, so just files. And now this link brings up the... Uh, file browser for my computer. Now I had that saved on my desktop. So here it is, assignment for students right there. So I just select the assignment that I want to upload and then I hit open. And now you can see it, it pops up right here, a little uh, working icon. It was very, very quick and that's done. So uploaded one item to the distance learning files, share links. I'm not going to click that because I want to show you where it is because it's not that little link doesn't stay up forever. And when you have the assignment right here, Whenever you float over an assignment, you see this little icon pops up. And this is what we want. This is called a share is the technical term for it. It's an arrow for sharing. All right, so I'm gonna click the little share and it opens up our uh, share options. So the default here is anyone with the link can edit. This is perfect if you're sharing something with a colleague in your PLC and you're both going to be editing this together in the cloud. That, that is what this is for. But, and that's the default, unfortunately. But what we want to do is share with the students. So anywhere with the link is fine. In fact, that's preferable in our current situation. We don't have all the students in, in, on school devices. And so some of them might be accessing this through parent uh, things. So not having an account is, is really the way we want to do it. So, but we want to uncheck this allow editing. And what that does is now when the students click on this link, they're going to be able to download a copy of the assignment that we're sharing with them, but not edit the, the actual original file that's in here. So we want to make sure that's unchecked. That's, that's awesome. And we want to make sure that this isn't selected either. This is block download. If we turn this on, the students will be able to open the assignment and view it in the web browser, but not make a downloaded copy of it. And uh, it, well, what's the point in that? Okay, so I mean, if you're really a stickler for it, I guess you could turn that on. But generally speaking, I'm going to say leave it alone. And we're going to hit apply. And then it brings us back here. So if you want to share this with an individual student, you can go ahead and enter their email address in here. If you're an elementary teacher, don't do that because your kids don't have email. Okay, uh, if you want to save, send it to an individual parent or a teacher, you can do that just right here. What I suggest, though, if you're going to put this in any of our uh, in our uh, Canvas or Teams or any other things that I mentioned before, even Class Dojo, what you want is to hit copy link right here. Now you have this shareable link. It is copied to your uh, to your clipboard, but you can hit copy again right here uh, if you if you want to. Anyway, that's the link. It is now on your clipboard, so now you can open up Dojo or Canvas or whatever and paste it in and send it off.